Why are you not investing in 5% CDs today or right now? It doesn't have to be today, tomorrow. I don't care. Dudes, dudes, pull your head out of your behind and wake up and see what's happening. Check this out. Here's my Schwab account. We got Sonova's Bank. Look at that. 5.05 is a coupon. It matures May of 2025. Our yield to worst, what we're worried about, yield to worst is 5.05%. Here we got Community Bank of, I guess, Maryland. 5% coupon matures yield to worst at 5%. Matures in May of 2025. Southern States Bank of Alabama. How awesome is that? Southern States Bank. And the bank is even spelled a C instead of a K of Alabama. Dude, that freaking, that just crushes it. I want to be a member of Southern States Bank with a C, especially out of Alabama. How awesome. How is that? Talk about stick it to the freaking corporate titans in New York City. What's your bank? Southern States Bank with a C out of Alabama? J.P. Morgan? Yeah, dude. 4.95% matures in uh, May of 2025. Dude, you're getting 5% on your money. Guaranteed. No downside risk other than the solvency of FDIC insured. So who knows what's going to happen there. But... If FDIC goes kaput, we're all doomed anyway. So if you're in that like retirement red zone, essentially, like I'm just talking later today, going to retire in a few weeks or so, uh, maybe a few months, maybe even next year. She don't know. But anyway, she's she's getting stressed. She goes, I, I got to hang up the boots, dude. So she's in a portfolio. Let me show you. So she's in a base of 50-50 portfolio. All right. So our, our expected rate of return is 51 with a standard deviation of nine. So just for simplicity, we got a 5% expected average rate of return until she's dead. But that comes with a risk of standard deviation of nine. So what we do is we times that nine by three, that gives us 27, then we subtract the five. And that gives us our downside risk is 22% of 99.8% probability is what we expect. Now we don't know. There's always these things called fat tails, black swans, but be that as it may. So she's gonna, we are expecting her to get 5.1% a year, with 22% as their downside risk. 22% is what Wellesley did Wellesley did from October 2007 to March 9th of 2009. She can't afford a 22% downside risk. Dudes. She can't. She's already down. I think she said 70,000 bucks. I can't remember what she's already down. But she's down like 70,000 bucks uh, from last year. And if she's getting ready to retire, we can't have a 22%. We can't walk into a bus off 22% decline. So then what we do is we say, okay, well, let's just trade that. For 5% CD. And there's no downside risk. Now, people are arguing, rightly so, but that 5% CD isn't guaranteed forever and it doesn't compound. Yeah, it's not guaranteed forever, but it's guaranteed for the next two years. And the next two years, what I'm worried about, we can't afford to retire into a 22% or worse decline. And yet now we're getting 5% to sit on our, our tuts. Uh, dudes. What, what are you giving up? I mean, you do whatever you want. I get it. I don't care. It's your money. You're not getting... Uh, look, if you're young, you keep dark costs averaging in the markets. I got no qualm with that. that. See, this is the difference between the young whippersnappers and us old folks. Young guys, yes, you can keep dollar cost averaging while the income's coming in. I have no qualm with that at all. Keep plugging away, plugging away, plugging away in a growing stock portfolio with dividends. I got no qualm with that. Retirees are the exact opposite. Retirees are going to reverse dollar cost average. We're pulling money out. And if we're pulling money out and the market is down 22%, that's, that could be a kiss of death. We can't afford the risk. So this is what drives you crazy. I'm staying stocks for the long run because history is so you don't know you don't know what the hell you're talking about, A. Uh, and B, it's one thing while you're adding to your portfolio or at least you don't have to pull from it. It's a whole different thing when we got pulled from the portfolio, man. It's a whole different thing especially in the, when I'm only 65 years old in the first two years of my retirement. And this lady's got to pull $100,000 a year from her portfolio until she gets on Social Security. All right, so she's tapping into it pretty good for the next couple of years. I mean, not to take advantage of 5% CDs, I don't, I don't get it. I don't even know what the markets are doing today. I mean, I, 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 who knows? Let's take a look. Are they down? Are they up? I'm going to predict they're up. Let's take a look here. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, they're whoa, way down. Okay. Look at that. 10-year treasury is at 3.328. Well, that, I have no clue if that's going to stay. You don't know what going to stay. No one knows what's going to happen. Uh, all I know is, could this be the start of something big? And we've had two straight negative days, and now we've got another. I, who knows? Who knows? But when you reverse dollar cost averaging, this is great if you're dollar cost averaging. That red, blood in the street is great if you're adding money to your portfolio. 
It sucks when you're pulling money from your portfolio. I cannot stress this enough. And now there's a great alternative. Thank you, Jerome Powell. All right. Love your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to Doobie Doo down below. Don't forget to get my new book right here. Relax and retire. And don't forget, you can sign up for my retirement planning course in the Doobie Doo. You can use promo code TAX for 50% off. We'll see you.